Howdy, this is Michael Good from ReapTrades.com with the Wednesday edition of your Saturday morning mailbag where I attempt to answer reader questions. The first question comes from Yosh, or Yosh. It says, could you please tell me your setting on IB charting? Yes, I can. Easy enough question. First, go to configure, actually skip that. Open up a chart, then go to configure settings. Of these settings, the only one I think I changed was to check my trades because I want to see my trades on the chart. I might, might have changed these other things, I don't remember. It's also useful to see news on the chart. That'll show up as a, a big yellow thing, like right here, big yellow triangle. Then go to charts, chart parameters. So normal time period for me is one day, three minute bar, I see the trades. I have a candlestick, you don't want a high low bar, candlesticks are better all the time. And I like seeing the volume. And that's it. And if you see these little yellow things, that's where there weren't really any trades. Another thing I suggest doing is setting a keyboard shortcut so that you can easily and quickly open charts. So I have that set for Control G. So if I'm looking at a thing, if I have a certain stock highlighted, just hit Control G and bam, it's there. Next question. This person says that they are trading using a web trading software because their work blocks uh, trading programs like Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation that I use and they feel that they're trading blind because they don't have uh, real-time data and they also talk about level two. Uh, level two is not necessary. It can be helpful, it's not necessary. The thing that's most important for me, of course you need real-time level one, but also having the time in sales. So if I'm trading AAC here I want to be able to look and see where all the most recent trades are taking place. And if the trades keep hitting the offer, the stock will tend to go up. If the trades that keep hitting the bid, the stock will tend to go down. And of course, there's more to it than just that. But I really need the time and sales to trade. In the case of the stock, uh, this person says, I mentioned there was a large bid on a stock, and that's why I covered. Tim Sykes did the same thing. We were both in this stock short, IDN. And the large bid we both saw, it was apparent on level one because it was the best bid. It was like, I don't know, 30,000 shares or so. But we both covered because we saw that on level one. The thing is, it got eaten away and taken out and then it dropped a bunch. So just because you see a large bid, yeah, that will tend to support the stock, but conversely, once that large bid is taken away, the stock may drop a bunch. So yeah, basic, if you only have web trading, you don't have real time level one, then I don't know, you're just sort of screwed. <laughs> I, I could not trade without real time level one. It's as simple as that. Um, level two, not necessary, but useful. Time and sales, very, very helpful, but not necessary. My third question of the day from Vset wants to know my favorite traders and my favorite books. Favorite traders, Tim Sykes, of course, I've learned a bunch from him. Uh, professional traders, I don't really follow any. Uh, famous blog uh, bloggers who trade, I don't really follow any of those either. Um, people who have written books, I mean, Jesse Livermore, but on the other hand, you don't want to emulate him because he blew his brains out. And he lost so many fortunes. That's not what you want to emulate. Victor Niederhofer didn't blow his brains out because he lost other people's money, not just his own. But uh, yeah, I, I can't really say any favorite traders. Favorite books, uh, I have a space for that on my website. Let me just show you. And there's probably more, but I really don't read very many books about trading. I don't need to. So here we go to reading list. And these are some of my favorite books. There's probably some more, but uh, these are the only ones that I really, really recommend for trading. I've read a lot of investing books, but that doesn't apply to trading. Thanks.